forgot about my light in the background. Okay, here we are. Brand new Apple Watch literally just came in. And if you remember a year ago, I actually unboxed my first ever Apple Watch. It was the Apple Watch SE. Now, it's the one that's on my wrist right now. And as you can see, I have quite a few accessories already on it. That's one of the things that I really enjoy about Apple products is that you can accessorize the hell out of them. That being said, it's time to move on to a new watch. So let's get into it. It's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here is an unboxing and a quick setup, maybe a look at a couple of straps on the Apple Watch Series 7. I literally just had some trouble opening it because I was doing it incorrectly, but here we go. Got those flaps out of the way, thank goodness. And there you go. Uh, for the most part, very similar unboxing to what I remember from last year. I have the new aluminum green edition. So let's get that out of the box. I like the wrapping that they have for the actual watch unit itself. You can see right there, got myself the 45 millimeter, bigger than my Apple Watch that I have right now, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go all in on the screen as much as I can. So that's why I went for the 45. Same general design language, uh, only now we have a screen that will spill over on the sides uh, a little bit more. That way they are able to squeeze in the biggest screen that they've ever had on an Apple Watch. Apple Watch documentation and whatnot. And here's the part that's super exciting. This new charger right here, if you have ever owned an Apple Watch before, you know that uh, these chargers are very, very important because if you don't have your charger on you, it's not easy to get another one. It's not like everyone walks around with Apple Watch chargers in their back pockets. What's nice about this year though is that, as you can see here on the overhead cam, you have yourself a USB-C end on this cable. That means this is a fast charging cable. Thank goodness. Fast charging is something we should have on wearables throughout, in my opinion, uh, because there are those little moments in time uh, in the middle of your day, like if you're having, uh, if you're taking a shower or if you're just like having lunch or something like that, uh, where you could just put the wearable on the charger and try to top it up so you can survive the rest of the day. Now you can get even more of that battery life back thanks to these fast chargers. I just noticed up here at the top, it says Clover Sport Band. Clover, Clover's the name of this one. But there are a couple of different sizes here. We have the medium large in the middle, small over here. Let's go ahead and get the medium large out. And as it turns out, I need the smaller band. Um, okay. <laughs> one of those funny revelations that you have in the middle of a recording session, sure. <laughs> You know what? The smaller band really does help <laughs> because it actually makes the, the watch sort of sit better. Uh, I was noticing when I was putting the larger band on that there was like a lot of space in the corner here, but uh, at least now it definitely fits a lot better. So fine, I'll take it. <laughs> and in my defense, it does say small, medium, so it's medium. It's not like it's small. Okay, you know what? Fine. Insecurities aside. <laughs> there you go. Apple Watch is paired. I gotta say, even already looking at this uh, just aluminum case screen that they have here as it's getting set up, it, this is a large screen. Like, I, I'm really enjoying this. Like, most of the time when it comes to even the Apple Watches, the previous ones, or any other wearables, there's quite a bit of bezel around the actual display, so you don't have a whole lot of, like, workable area. Here, though, you have a ton of it. Signing into your account, this may take a few minutes, so why don't I go ahead and put this aside for a second, and I'm going to actually show you a couple of other watch straps that are available. I was lucky enough to get a couple of them alongside the watch itself, so we're going to start off with a pretty interesting one. This is my first time ever getting what is called the Sport Loop. Um, we have the Dark Cherry and Forest Green Sport Loop, so I like this combination of colors, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, real quick though, before I get to that strap, we have the different sizes for bold text and size. So I'm keeping it bold, but these last two here, these last two notches on the text size are actually new because of how much bigger the display is. Yeah, no. okay, we'll make a passcode. That's a lot, there, even this keypad is pretty large. And compared to any other Apple Watch, especially in my previous Apple Watch SE, and the fact that this is a larger body size than before, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take some getting used to with this. Oh, blood oxygen level. You can use the blood oxygen app to check your blood oxygen levels. It can measure levels throughout the day, we'll enable that. And while that's going, let's get back to our sport band over here. Ooh, the fabric here is quite nice, actually. Okay, so I'm trying to think <laughs> where this one can go. I don't want to mess up again. <laughs> so I have I have indicators here as to where I should be going with this. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. 
And then this portion right here will Velcro onto the rest. You know what? I actually kind of like that. That's actually really cool. The sport loop, pretty nice. And I love the fabric. The fabric is different. It's not like silicone, like the original band. Uh, nothing against silicone. It's just nice to feel something a little bit different uh, when it comes to the watch straps. Back to our setup here, we have ourselves the emergency SOS, always on display, that's true, we can have an always on display now, and because we have the fast charging available now, uh, I can just get uh, a little bit of charge back, even if the always on display is constantly draining the battery. Okay, so while we're still waiting for this, because the Apple Watch is still syncing, let's move on to yet another strap that I was able to get. Um, this one is very new to me. I mean, I kind of know about the sport bands and all of that stuff, this uh, sport loop as they call it, but this one is a little bit different. This one uh, is called the Leather Link. So let's see what color I got here. We have the Saddle Brown Leather Link. I did see on the website though that there were California Poppy Leather Links and I was really hoping to get that because you know me, I love my California, I love my state. Uh, that being said though, they sent me the Saddle Brown which is not too far off from that poppy color, it's just a bit darker. Almost like a leather color when it comes to this strap, which is fine. I mean, it kind of matches the mustard yellow case that I have on my iPhone 13 Pro. And really the reason why I wanted to show all this off is that there are so many different options, even from Apple themselves, to customize your watch. Uh, so there are so many different watch straps, and obviously I'm going to jump into a lot of other third-party accessories perhaps uh, that you can use to fully, fully change up the way that your watch looks on your wrist. And there you go. A little bit more of like a classic look to this. Uh, you have like the black watch uh, body and then you have the watch strap in brown. Uh, a lot of timepieces tend to come with this sort of colorway. And of course, you can make it that way depending on what color you, you end up having. And what's so funny is I said it's a black watch face or watch body, but this is the green one. And you can see in the light here that when you shine the light on it, it does show that it's kind of green. It's like a like a dark, a super dark aluminum green. Uh, so kind of like that subtlety to it. At least uh, it's not going to be too garish when you pair it up with other types of straps. By the way, I'm sure you saw it in the clip just now. I had the watch strap backwards. It's because it has these little bits of writing on here. That's how you know. And I finally saw it when I was showing you that last clip. You just have this sort of like magnet system right here and it goes onto like the little notches of the leather link. That way you just have to like line it up there. My only worry about the leather link uh, strap as I'll show you right here is it's a little bit easy to just like pull. Like the magnets are quite strong, but you can just like pull a little bit and it'll come off like that. So that, that makes it convenient, but it's also a little bit it's a little bit worrisome. Um, so that's one thing that I actually kind of prefer about the sport loop. Uh, at least if you undo the Velcro uh, that is over here, it is still looped around your wrist. So it's more or less uh, secure still. But when it comes to the leather link, if you were to just sort of like take it off like that, then well, it comes right off. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to this. While we're, while we're waiting for the final part of the setup, why don't I just get my Apple Watch SE out of its various accessories? just so I can sort of illustrate how radical of a shift it is for me to go from the SE, the smaller SE, to the larger Apple Watch 7. I mean, take a look at that. That is, uh, that is a pretty substantial increase in the size of the body, but it also means that I have way more screen to work with this time also. And the thing is, the Apple Watch SE last year was definitely my entry point into the Apple wearable ecosystem, uh, whereas I've never actually worn an Apple Watch before that. Uh, and because they brought out the SE, it meant that there was a more affordable option. So again, a great entry point. And I still think if you've never worn a wearable before and you're looking to be in the Apple ecosystem, uh, the Apple Watch SE is still a wonderful option for all of that. Um, so yeah, here we are with just the more premium edition here with the biggest screen uh, and also the fast charging, a couple of other features that make the Apple Watch Series 7 stand out from the rest. I mean, just look at this. We have so much room here. <laughs> and um, let me head over here real quick and take a look at a couple of the new watch faces. Contour, there you go. Look at that. If I were to move the rotating crown, you can see that it, uh, uh, it, it actually moves along with it. Look at that, there's so much info <laughs> on this watch face, my goodness. All of the different time zones, so you can actually see it all moving in real time. Uh, right now it is 
you know what? I can't even really read it. This watch face might actually be pretty handy because long distance relationship, you know? Uh, but there are complications that you can have on other watch faces that will show you the time in a different time zone. So obviously I don't need to rely on just this one. And what's cool is if you didn't already see, I have myself an always on display here um, and it even is the actual watch face itself. It's not like it changes to some sort of like super simplistic version of the watch face or even something completely different. It is the actual watch face, it just dims. I'm gonna keep it on the contour watch face. After all, that's the marquee watch face that Apple has been pushing with the Apple Watch Series 7. And it does show off the curvature, if you will, of this new display with very little bezels. Um, I have to say, I am still impressed by the screen. I'll keep saying it because all of the info that I already enjoy getting on my Apple Watch SE now is just even easier for me to view on my wrist. And so there you have it, an unboxing and some uh, preliminary thoughts, let's say, on the Apple Watch Series 7. I am going to do my video, what worked and what didn't, on this particular smartwatch pretty soon after I use it for some number of days and I have some thoughts to share. That being said, though, I do want to leave you with one final watch strap to check out. Uh, this one is not going to be from Apple. It's just going to be my way of showing once again that you have so many choices when it comes to Apple Watches, Apple products, and accessorizing. It's probably pretty obvious what I was going to end up showing you given that it was already on my Apple Watch SE, but this is one from Nomad. This is the sports strap, uh, and this one should be able to fit this larger Apple Watch Series 7. After all, the whole point of the Series 7 watches is that even with that very small increase in the overall size of the body, uh, you should still be able to fit all of the other accessories that you have been using already. And there you go. Simple black on black on black in this case. Uh, this one's not going to be made of leather. This one's actually plastic and silicone. Uh, but maybe we'll take a look at some leather goods from Nomad. After all, that's what they're known for. And obviously, I'll take a look at even more third-party accessories uh, for the Apple Watch Series 7. Maybe I'll end up doing a video regarding all of my favorite accessories for it. And there you go. Again, the fact that this is a green watch, but it's kind of hard to actually see the green unless light is really shining on it. It just means that the watch can blend in pretty easily with any of the accessories that you might end up getting for it. So be proud that you got your favorite color, but also be proud that you can pretty much pair it with anything. And there you go. We have a third party accessory already put onto the Apple Watch Series 7. Again, one of the most supported products out there. That's just the way that it goes when it comes to Apple devices. So whatever accessories you might already have for your previous Apple Watches, if you're coming from one, could probably work on here. Most likely will work on this one. In any case, this video has gone on for quite some time, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing and a look at a few different watch straps for the Apple Watch Series 7. For more on the Apple Watch Series 7, all of my content on it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this and if you got one yourself today in the comment sections down below. With all that said, I will finally call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.